it's amazing times and an exciting time to, to be with London Irish. Um, this move's been on the uh, been thought about long and hard over the over the within the last decade. Um, and for us, you know, we've caref we've carefully considered every option that's come along, uh, and actually to finally find ourselves coming back to, to the heart of London, it is probably the right the right thing for the club going forward. You'd say it's been a, a long time coming, but you know, it's a culmination of a massive amount of hard work, presumably. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and I think what we have to do is, is recognise the hard work of the management uh, behind the scenes over the last kind of six or seven years in terms of looking at every single possibility that we can take in terms of what's right for the club going forwards. Um, and I think having considered all the options, done some independent surveys, yeah, I think we can recognise now that this is the best move for us to make us a sustainable club going forward as well. And I think really, truly, we have to take our hats off to Mick Cross and the president of the club as well because he's stood by this uh, as well and made sure we steered uh, ourselves into the right direction. So why the Brentford Community Stadium? Um, it brings us back to our ancestral home. So if you think about it, Hazelwood, our 64 acre training complex, which is probably the, the best complex in the country, is literally 10, 12 miles down the road from that. So all of our players are located there. Uh, we train there. And actually it brings us back to, to where the heart of, of, of London Irish is. How much the of, of the decision was that and how much of it was commercial or is it a combination of the two? It's a combination of two. I mean, I think, you know, first and foremost, we're a rugby club uh, and we play rugby uh, and we've been playing rugby for 120 years. Um, so we have to do what's right for the team and what's right for us going forward. Uh, of course, in the modern game, commercials are really important for us and we need to be able to compete with the other premiership clubs as well. So going into uh, a stadium where the, the commercial deal is a lot better for us uh, enables us to, to generate the revenues, you know, to pay the squad, uh, to ultimately, you know, put ourselves into uh, a, a, a contention for the, for the top of the table. And how important was the location? I mean, you look at the transport links, it's next to Cuebridge Station, it's within easy reach of the M4, it's right next to the M4. Loads of underground stations close by as well. How important was that in the decision-making process? It was massively important. I mean, you don't want to be somewhere where nobody can get to, uh, and we really need to look after our existing supporter base that have been with us for the last 19 years in Reading. Um, so we needed to make sure some, everything was right for them to be able to get there. First and foremost, they're primarily our most important fan base. Um, and actually, you know, that was a big consideration. So I think if you consider the transport links in by the M4, there's going to be a plenty of car parking for everybody in there as well. There's train links for, for those that want to get in from central London and from that Thames Valley as well. So. It's important to, distinct, to, to, uh, to make the distinction between, say, the move that Wasps made uh, up to Coventry where there was a few weeks as opposed to this, which, uh, you know, the, the move itself is going to be 18 months away. Yeah, and, and it gives us plenty of time to, to talk to all of our supporters uh, to make sure that we answer all their questions going forward. Uh, we, we think we've done a, a really big feasibility study with this anyway, um, so hopefully we've covered all bases for everybody, uh, and that'll become transparent over the next couple of months as we go around the, uh, the, the areas that we support, uh, and we talk to people individually and, and really get their feedback in terms of what they want Brentford to be as well. So, you know, this, this is our club going forward. We've got a, a good long tenure in there as well. Uh, and from that point of view, we want to make it what's right for everybody and bring the crack back to London.